all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and this time i'm taking a look at the gameplay trailer for resident evil 4 vr which of course is only coming to oculus quest 2 which is just i'm so happy about it this is so good uh because you know i got a quest one maybe a couple months before they announced the quest 2 and quest 2 was cheaper and now it has exclusive shit, so that's good. Anyway, um, so this is the gameplay trailer for Resident Evil 4 shitty ass VR. So let's go. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a little bitter. You know, to be honest, it looks pretty good. It does look actually really good. Um, but I ain't playing it anytime soon because I'm not buying an Oculus Quest 2 just for Resident Evil 4 VR, especially since I have a feeling it might come to other consoles later, like in the far future. Um, they say it's not going to now, but watch. Watch. It'll be on PSVR in the next year or so. Anyway. Resident Evil 4 VR um, looks cool, and also there's also a uh, a preview, hands-on preview, so we'll watch that because it's only 30 seconds long. So let's go. What you boy? What you boy? Same voice actor as Leon. Oh man, uh, shooting the the lake a bunch of times, trying to trick somebody to do that would be hilarious. Whoa. Oh my god, fuck that. Oh, my actual head this time. Welcome come back. I don't want to come back. Okay, October 21st. Don't remind me. Ah, Alright, you know, I actually kind of want to watch that again. Because I actually showed off quite a bit. What are you, boy? Because it looks pretty good also. I feel like they updated maybe a little bit. Lo reloading the shotgun will feel good. Cause this, this will just make the game so much more easier, I feel like, too. Like, I, as long as you, you don't get motion sick easily. Because, like, b like before you would have to actually, like, like slow down aim. This time you can move, walk faster, I feel like, and just bop, bop, you do some John Wick shit. Which is fitting, considering they've been trying to make Leon into John Wick for the last few years. Have you seen that last... Uh, <laughs> CG, uh, not even, not the show, but the CG animated uh, movie. What was it, Vendetta? <laughs> Just watch it. <laughs> they try and make his ass into John Wick. Anyway, let's watch this too. This is a hands-on preview. Resident Evil Four mm, has been released classic on music. every platform, but the upcoming Resident Evil Four VR oh, how about engage? Be the first yeah, I think so. 2005, that Capcom's seminal survival horror game feels like again. new. I'm gonna hunt again. VR isn't some sampler running you through the best parts of the 2005 classic. <laughs> it's like, this what is, is this? a full game remade in virtual what? reality, and you'll be able to experience every Oh no, that's how the cutscenes are gonna be. Right. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Catch you in the This might be the first time in a long while that I've been excited to play through the entirety of Resident Evil 4 again. Okay. Resident Evil 4 is best known for What is the Chains guy, Saw's guy and name? It's like Dr. Sal Salamander or something? I don't know. Gone with a slow pace a weird ass name. sluggish gunplay. It introduced a new, faster third person combat system while expanding the arsenal with new weapons and melee attacks. All of this translates well in virtual reality. It looks if like you've it. played a first person oh, no. shooter in VR, you'll know that if there's Not one genre VR head. excels at and potentially surpasses a console experience, it's That's a your name in the game, to this end, Much of the original Resident Evil 4 experience has been remade to be interactive with. Weapons are a good example of this. All the tools a player needs yeah. will be somewhere on their person and can be Give grabbed me. as necessary. Need to pull out a gun? Grab it from your waist. Need to heal to be yourself? Be fair, with the knife, I'm, ju I'm just going to use it like Leon does. Holster on your chest. Yeah. Reloading your weapon is done in real time as well. Your ammo is in a pouch on your left side, and you'll need to physically pull That's out great. ammo cartridges and load them into your weapon. The whole experience has a learning curve. <laughs> I just like thinking Leon's just weapon, like... It's almost second nature. Just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's Puzzles moving less than he does in the actual fucking game when he's aiming. One puzzle in the church area requires players to move different colored lights correctly to form the right shape. Yeah. In the VR version, you'll press virtual buttons on the machine to move around the lights the right way. Cool. Items are also handled in a full-size virtual window where you can yeah. pick up items and rearrange them by physically Oh moving man, them VR arranging your briefcase? Your is done on a fully interactive typewriter, which might be my favorite thing ever. Oh, that is Not actually cool. Is in VR, though. All the cutscenes in the game aren't viewed in first person. That They're looks really weird. Why is it so small? Anytime Leon does an action like climb a ladder or jump through a window, RE4 VR switches from first person perspective That'd be very to jarring. the same what? view. It's, it's like the sunken place. Transition, but I understand why it was done. I doubt jumping and rolling out of a second story oh, window that's weird. But, the more serious issue is how well, some why of is the, the screen so small? Translate into the new oh, format. shit. 
Resident Evil 4 was a much more action-oriented turn for the series, and that included adding a lot of intense mob I guess counts. disorientation, but why that small? Does it matter on that much? On PC, this wasn't a problem, but in VR, the intensity and the difficulty of these encounters are substantially increased. Fighting a wave of Wait, enemies really? by pulling your weapons from holsters and reloading them in real time can be incredibly thrilling. But if you're partial to motion sickness, you'll likely be playing using the teleportation controls. And getting away from a mob with this kind of movement while physically managing your inventory is quite the challenge. Okay, so it's actually harder. I thought it'd be Mob's easier. Elicit a different reaction altogether. There's nothing quite like fighting El oh God, in that. virtual reality. Staring oh, you at the towering figure <laughs> while shooting him with everything you have. Similarly, there's also nothing quite like seeing this entire gloomy world in VR. You can almost smell the rot and blood in the village. Yeah. But there are also moments of serene beauty you can only experience for the first time in VR. Only. If you've skipped... <laughs> I just look the way they look at their own hands. Of the incremental changes made for each what version. am I? Resident Evil 4 VR is the most substantially different take on the game I've seen in a long while. And I'm eager to fully revisit this exhilarating Yeah, you'll be later. Resident Evil 4 VR is released this October. For eh, traditional shooters, that's what I do. VR, check out our preview of Far Cry 6. And for everything else, keep it right here. That's a pretty you. good hands-on. <laughs> All right, wait, hold <laughs> oh, All right, well, thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Got right up into the gun. even the aim. Overhype, was that? Oh, whatever. Uh, all right, that looks pretty good. Uh, but not that good, because I'm not getting it, so... If I'm not getting it, that means it doesn't look good. So anyway, no. The only reason why I'm not getting it is because of, you know, I already talked about it. Anyway, no, it looks great, though. It looks really, really fun. So there you go. Um, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.